We are so, so excited. We have been looking forward to you coming in. Benson Boone is hey. in the studio. With What's us. up, everybody? John does a New Music Friday segment on our show, and he really introduced our audience to you back with Sugar Sweet. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, banger. bless your heart, Absolute man. banger. I do. I really like that song. I remember you came in here, and you did a, a private performance in our little lounge down there, and I just remember hearing your story, and I was like, this is the craziest story. That like it was like a battle of the bands that you just happened to decide you're able to sing in. Like you didn't grow up singing, right? No. Yeah, I kind of grew up more of like a sports outdoors yeah. kind of vibe, and I thought that's like where my life would go. Um, yeah, and then like senior year of high school, um, a battle of the bands. Like long story short, I was gonna play the piano for someone for a band, and then their singer quit, so I just. Gave it a shot, and like that's kind of when I figured out I could like like sing. That you is know? the most yeah. wild story to me. Like I have been singing in my car my whole life. I can't even come close to that. <laughs> like, what do you mean, dude? How are you just blessed with that? Uh, dude, I I don't I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it just did you ever it sing in public before? Like, did people tell you you had a good voice, you could carry a tune? No, like, and I would sing in the shower, and I know like my my sisters could hear me, and my parents could hear me, and like. It must have, like, really never sounded good. Like, really not. Because, like, more of the time it would be like, hey, quiet down. Instead of like, hey, your voice is good. Okay. So I never, like, like singing isn't something I ever thought I could really do. And especially, like, anything I thought I would pursue or, like, like really mm -hmm. try to, to do. make right. a career Which is out yeah. of. Crazy, because when Beautiful Things came out, like, I brought that up on New Music Friday, too. And I just remember, like, even saying out loud, I was like, this is the craziest song I'm going to hear all year. Like, <laughs> this is such a wild song. I was so hyped on it. But my only gripe is, this is an impossible song to sing along to. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I sound terrible that singing this song. So Everyone boring. does. It's, um, before this song came out, I was in the car. I have, like, like, like six core best friends. Like, mm. like, six guys that are just, like, my ride or dies. Yeah. And we were all in the car, and we were on, like, a little road trip um, down to San Diego, and I played Beautiful Things because, um, like, sometimes I'll show them, you know, songs that haven't come out yet. And they, they'd listened to it a couple times, so they, like, they knew the chorus. Dude, I'll tell you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not all of us can no. sing. <laughs> Not all of us. It's, like, crazy you're on American Idol because this is one of those songs that if someone was on American <laughs> Idol and they're like, oh, I'm going to sing Beautiful Things, Benson Boone, I'd yeah. go, okay. Hold on. You know, it's like when someone says they're going to sing Adele or Dream On yes. or something. Like, this is one of those songs. But good luck Kelly Clarkson if she's going to cover this one, you know? But, um, but, but like, oh, that's the thing. Like, if someone, there are so many good singers. Like, if someone did, like, like nail it, like, they would really it. nail it and yeah. crush it. So I, I would be very, like, I would be really excited to hear, like, that on a show. I would be very curious how that would go. Yeah, me too. John mentioned American Idol for people that don't know your story. So you auditioned back in 2021, around there? So around there. Yeah, yeah, and then you decided to leave the competition. Yeah, it was like, it was during COVID and like, like the peak of COVID. And they, I think like, I've never re watched American Idol before, like before that. So like, I didn't know much about it, but like they reached out to like, people to be on the show I think that time and that was like right when I had started making singing videos and so they were like hey do you want to try American Idol and I was like sure yeah. I will give it a shot and like after being there and like like everybody was great don't have anything bad to say just like wasn't my vibe um and I didn't even still like I didn't know if I wanted to do music I just thought it was like a fun thing I had kind of just discovered and so I was like playing around with it yeah. um so I also didn't want to, like, if I ended up going far on the show, I didn't want to be there and be like, well, I don't want to do music, so why am I here? Like, I just didn't feel like I deserved to be there, really. So I stepped away to kind of figure out if I want to actually do it. And that's when I started writing, like, my own music. And um, the first song I wrote was Ghost Town. And so we, like, I just, yeah, ended up, teasing that on social media and like that's kind of where everything started and now with tiktok and beautiful things it's just it's huge it is a massive song is there a point that you can think of when you thought like okay this is the time this is that moment where this song is going viral like can you pinpoint it 
to we, a, a time? Honestly, it happened so slowly that like there wasn't one time where I was like, oh yeah, she's gonna take off. Mm -hmm. It was like the song debuted at number sixteen, and I and that's the highest I've ever been. Like that was like I was so 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 excited. Like could not believe my eyes. I was in the top twenty. Like literally. Almost cried. I like called my mom. I was like, "Mom, we're in the top twenty. This is the craziest thing." I was like <laughs> so stoked. And then like the next couple of days, it kind of went down and down and down to like twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. And I thought sixteen was the best we'd get. And so like even that, I was like, "That's the most viral moment I've ever had." And then the next week, it just went like to number one. And like genuinely, I still don't think I fully yeah. can like process that like truly zero percent of me was expecting that like it, it actually blew my mind it's still taking over my feed what is the coolest thing that you can think of that's happened since that song has had its moment because i feel like i mean you've been blowing up since before then but this is just an entirely new caliber right you have like a number one hit song what's the coolest thing that's happened because of beautiful things um lana del rey posted on her story yesterday, her singing beautiful things. Jeez. And yeah. I nearly wet myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was for sure, like, a pinnacle moment I bet. in my life. Oh, uh, yeah. I love Lana Del Rey. I, her music's fantabulous. Her voice is incredible. I think I meant to say fabulous and fantastic. No, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Fantabulous. <laughs> yeah. I feel um, like that could take off. That could that take way. off. Yeah. That so could, she did the song justice, off. though. This is one of the covers that, like, did well, and you're like, dang, that's awesome. Yeah. It was just, like, yeah, little things like that, to me, are, like, the I think the coolest thing. Yeah. Um, and I will say, I went, um, I've never been to an NBA game before until last week, and I went uh, to a Lakers game, and someone got me uh, courtside tickets. Oh, wow. And L genuinely i have just i have never smiled for so long <laughs> in my life i was like i was sitting there like mgk was across from me yeah. with trippy red and i was like i actually just could not believe it That's i was a like movie on top of the world i was trying not to cheer for both teams because i was just so excited just happy to, to be, be there, there. like yeah. genuinely the coolest moment of my whole life were you in the jumbotron i was oh, no I, I, dude i have oh. I'll, I'll, i have a video um on the jumbotron uh, like on my phone because i asked them if they could send it to me oh like, i didn't even know what to do i was just like smiling at the camera like yeah the whole what time. else you gonna do i was so shocked <laughs> yeah Anyway, that was, like, the coolest thing. Dang, I can't even imagine. Mm -mm. That is so sick. Back to your family. Uh, you have sisters. You have four sisters? Four, yeah. So I'm I'm all girls in my family. I have two younger sisters. So you the only only brother? Mm -hmm. Is there What are the best things and what is the worst thing about growing up surrounded by sisters? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I would say the best thing is, like... Um, I don't know. Something like something like definitely changes you like being surrounded by, you know, girls 24/7 mm -hmm. like not in like some crazy way where like I understand woman now. No, like I really right. don't. I never will and I don't expect to. But like they like I feel like I'm definitely more emotional and like aware of other people's emotions and my emotions and it helps my songwriting and what I do cuz I like want to be vulnerable with my music and so they just kind of have helped me a lot with like who I am and like like what I pay attention to. Um that's great. But also, you know, it was like really helpful for dates and and like, <laughs> yeah. you know, that yeah. was always great. But um the worst thing <sighs> Maybe that's not a bad thing. Honestly, okay. Some people would say this is the worst thing. I think this is actually another plus to me. I like at first, like never. They they always like my sisters loved the Barbie movies. Loved. Like really loved those movies. <laughs> and like I would be like 
no, nah, like, I'm a dude. Like, I'm not going to watch these. When, like, actually, low-key, I was super into those <laughs> They're movies. They're good. They're really good. The storylines are The amazing. plot, the storyline. <laughs> bro, the animation is crazy. I think crazy. there was a trend on TikTok. I, I think there, it was called, like, Girl Brothers. And it was the difference between dating someone that has sisters, like a guy that has sisters yeah. compared to a guy who doesn't. Yeah. And I think, to your point, like, I remember I related to a lot of that because I don't admit this a lot, but, like, I played with Barbies with my sister growing dude. up. You know, like... I and, was like, this and like, is sick. Those are some of the best times of my life. Yeah. Like, although the limbs didn't move that much, like yeah. you could only move them from the shoulders and the thighs, like, right. I still played with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Polly Pockets, too. Okay. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I was, we were all into that. Um, but probably, probably like the one downside, which actually, for another reason, like ended up being an upside, is like, I just like didn't have anyone to wrestle, you know? Oh. Like, mm hmm. But I had this best friend growing up. His name is Eric. We met, like, our parents are best friends. Like, I was introduced to Eric before I could even speak. Like, yeah. we were, like, six months old. And so he has five sisters. So we both are just, like, no brothers. So him and I, like, that's who I wrestled. Like, him and I would just hit each other with sticks and, like, go <laughs> climb trees and dig holes in the dirt. Like... Get that brotherly love. Yeah. yeah. So, like, yes, I, like, I, you know didn't have that with with my sisters but like also it it made my relationship with eric like like something that you know i'll be best friends with him till i die that's probably the reason you have a a firm handshake i noticed that when you came in and <laughs> right before you came in someone was like oh benson's on his way like he'll be in the studio in just a minute <laughs> he's got a firm shake though like <laughs> no be way. ready yeah. he's got a sick yeah. firm shake and i was like <laughs> dude i love this guy <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious i did not Wow, they they said that. that. That was the only thing that they said about you. That's yeah. like my first impression of you is he's got a firm shake. You know something about that Benson guy? Yeah, <laughs> he's got a firm <laughs> shake. Yeah, dude, and beware, you, he'll squeeze your hand out. Yeah, I can have a bone to pick with you too because the mustache. I like. So I saw your videos on American Idol, right? And I saw you from the last two years, and uh -huh. you didn't always have it. You were kind of like me. We had a baby face. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you have this firm, like iconic stash. Dude, what's the secret, dude? <sighs> It's so crazy you say that because, like, okay, my my like, day to day, I have like you know like a manager on a day to day. My day to day's name is Ryan. Okay, unbelievable mustache. Really, like, truly. Is that you, who's with you today? Yeah. Oh okay. yeah, okay. Eugenie. Yeah. Great. Oh for sure. You look yeah. at him and you're like, damn. <laughs> I feel like that your whole is, crew that does. That is a good yeah. stash. Yeah, but like, I I like never thought I could grow facial hair and like. The fact that you even said that, dude, genuinely, I'm like trying not to blush right now. That, like that, a, means, that means the world. No, I respect it. Like, dude. I, I, I respect <laughs> it. You look like you could definitely like grow dude, a mean stash. I don't. I, I promise. It kind of looks like, uh, I feel like I'm just like an Italian Luigi. It just, it comes in, but it <laughs> you know doesn't what? come in full. You That's know? not always the worst thing. Yeah. It, there's no secret, though. There's no real secret. <sighs> time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm it, waiting. It took a long time for it not to look like. Like I'm in middle school. Yeah. You know? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. That's where mine's at. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, before we let you go, I'm sure John is going to feature this next Friday. We got new music coming out next Friday. Oh new yeah. Song? Slow it down. Wait, is that what we're talking yes. about? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And you said on I did, you said <laughs> on your TikTok sure. like, page. <laughs> you've only been writing for a few years, but slow it down, you said is is one of the craziest songs you've ever written. Yeah. So why is this one different? What's so crazy about it? Um genuinely like a lot of the times when I'm in the studio, like, I always am, like, w when I was starting, I was always like, what's the craziest chorus I can sing? Like, like where's the biggest moment this can go? And I kind of, like, got away from that. But, like, with this one, it's kind of the opposite. Where, like, the verse, the first verse is the first thing that I wrote to this. Like, I wrote it on my, on my piano and just, like, literally, when I wrote the verse, I was like, dude, I don't know what chorus or what ending to this song is gonna happen but like this verse is so good that it needs to have something good so this one actually took a while to sound how it how it does and like when, when you guys hear it like it took a long time to get there but like it all started with the first verse it's like literally my favorite verse i've ever written lyrics melodies like the way i i sung sang sung it good enough for me yeah <laughs> um yeah so like i don't know that just usually doesn't happen and it's like such a personal song to me and like i'm for sure like a big overthinker and and like hopeless romantic and so like slow it down to me is like 
chill. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but like talking to myself. Yeah. And so I, I really do love the meaning of this song and how it sounds and the production. And I'm just very proud of, of like what, what it's become. Yeah. Um, so truly just, just like one of my favorite songs. Yeah, based on the hooks on TikTok, dude, I'm stoked yeah. to hear it. Yeah, we're excited. Thank you. Thank you Thank so much you. for coming in today. Thank you guys so for nice having me. So nice to meet you. Lovely to talk to you both.